just making us sandwiches. I couldn't get away from cooking <laughs> after yeah. all. I don't think that we mentioned before that we're on a really, really, really tight budget. I don't want to say the exact amount, but um, we have to travel the world for like next to nothing because we did have to temporarily leave our jobs. They've been, you know, kind where kind of I, I'm on sabbatical and Ksenia is working part time. I think we can safely say you're working part time, sort of, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, but very limited part time. Yeah. Okay, so we're really not making money right now and uh, we have to go cheap. So everywhere we go, we have to make lunches. It just gets us to um, be a little more active and we have to kind of think about our choices. So sandwiches, probably a good start for the day. And again, all the reason to get out there and go grocery shopping, which makes you search the city, uh, which we talked about in, uh, in the last vlog that we did. But maybe we'll just wrap them in a napkin and throw them in our shoulder bags. And then we're gonna head out into uh, Lisbon and uh, see what else we can find. Yeah, okay, so the, it's the commercial district. Uh, we just walked along the water, and uh, I don't actually know what the square is called. I think we were here last night. It was nice, but uh, our host at Airbnb warned us, I think, that uh, he said don't even bother coming down to this area, because uh, he said the food was so bad and so like pricey for tourists and stuff that it wasn't even worth coming. So, yeah, I mean, I can't say we care that much. We're gonna come here anyways and check it out. Okay, we're just starting to see it now. Um, I think you can kind of just see above the buildings in this area right there, that is the castle. So we're gonna make our way up there. It's a nice square. Everyone's just chilling, having lunch here. I'm um, right about there. That's tram 28. And instead of paying for the tourist tram, which is the hop on hop off tram, uh, you can, you can take that tram and it basically does the same thing. It's like a dollar forty, so Actually, like a no, fraction of the price. It's, or no, it's two eighty-five euros, and it's about half an hour, and it takes you through all the historical districts. And it's like I guess it's a good deal because you can do that instead of the actual tourist tram. That's just a normal streetcar here that works anyways, and you can just stay on it and get the full tour. So, one little travel tip. We just decided to totally stop and wait, right? We did, because there's lots of tourists and we just don't want to join the wrong group. <laughs> yeah, we get it. We're tourists too, but it was like a cattle herd of tourists. We're almost getting pushed in front of a streetcar, so we thought we'd just stop and wait and let all the groups pass and then we'll keep going. Nice spot though. Nice little intersection. It's quite beautiful. If you are doing a tour, if you're not doing a tour, just do follow the tourist group because you get to see the best spots then. <laughs> Illegal travel tip? Join a tour. <laughs> but don't pay. We came across this right sort of in the middle of the city, in the middle of nowhere. It's just a fenced off area and we thought it was a construction site, but it is, it's an architectural dig of uh, Olisipo. Olisipo? We'll try that. It's an old theater. We can actually see it. Um, these are the ruins. There are some Roman columns over here. And then all the way at the back, it's really, you can just barely see it. But uh, you can see where they've outlined where the bleachers were that surrounded the theater. And we keep trekking upward. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Um, the cost to get in is 8.50 euros per person. And yeah, we're gonna go check it out and show you guys around. Wow. A little foggy there. There's a really nice view of the, uh, of the channel up ahead and then the castle is just up here to my right. We'll go there in a second. I just wanna get a, get a shot of this.
Okay. I was just asking Ksenia where we should go. And she, according to the map, we're going to the romantic garden. To be romantic. Romantic. <laughs> Is it the dead trees up here? Is that the romance? <laughs> yes. Okay, we think we found the uh, romantic garden. Well, should we go into the gardens for romance now? <laughs> I don't know how to respond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down here. Look, at, it's the romance tunnel. I'm not giving the romance gardens a good review here. Because <laughs> we came in, we went in circles, and now we're leaving. I, I'm not sure what the... I mean, they're nice gardens. I'll they leave are, it at that. but it's also off-season. I'm sure in the season they'll have all the fountains. It's lovely here. It's beautiful. Yeah, we're... This is not the romance season. <laughs> well, the castle's 11th century. So you can kind of just picture a bridge like this in the setting, in the, in the era, with horse-drawn carriage going over it. It's really cool. And there's a moat around the whole thing. far down. Oh, that's um, throw rock. We can hear for it. But look, just in case someone falls in, they have a little lever to pull them back out. Must be a common tourist. <laughs> common tourist thing. Oh, that, this is a fire pit. Think it is? I don't know. I feel like that's not what it would be used for. I feel like there'd be a turnstile in the center and then a wooden pulley system and the horses would go around and it would crush something here. Why do you have to be so smart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very specific with my imagination of what this medieval castle would be like. See, I think there's a barbecue right there. There's a fire pit. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. Bricks. It's a pig roasting pit. I think we're doing this all wrong. Going upstairs is where the good stuff is. I'm an expert at interpreting signs and I'm certain can't read it, but that means that if you fall, arrows will come flying at you, right? Or you can read it in English. It says, attention, <laughs> stairs. Don't, okay, I didn't and see walls. that at all. <laughs> Don't ruin my jokes. <laughs> oh yeah, this is much better up here. I like it up here. Kind of nerding out here, but another cool thing that you really get to see up close, the arrow portals. If you have uh, this design so that you can take cover and then attack, and then you have highly covered defense positions to fire arrows out of here. Well, this castle was built for the military use. It was meant to be lived in. Is that what it was? It, it was a military castle? Well, that's what it says on the brochure. <laughs> I think we are stairs out. <laughs> <laughs> Moving pretty slow right now. <sighs> kind of back to where we started, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I just wonder if there's, if there's more to the castle. Like, I don't think there'd be interior rooms, but there must be more exhibits than just the walls. There is a permanent exhibit here we can take a look at. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We'll go check out that. I'm just trying to be really quiet in here. <laughs> well, there's two others, but I don't want to bug them. I just read the sign that said, uh, I guess that answers our question, why all the stuff that uh, um, outside, how come we don't see any objects in just the walls? That's because anything that was here was moved into this private exhibit. So uh, folks of YouTube, we're gonna have a quick look around and see what objects have been salvaged from the ruins here. Look at the 
is one thing. Apparently the concept of scissors hasn't changed much in 1,000 years. Okay, come check out these plates. What are these? This is, oh, these are oil lanterns? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we just left yeah, the interior of the castle, and we're just going to go and do the, um, the perimeter and see if we can find some cool cannons. Cool. We were going to try firing this cannon, but it's, um, it's out of order. <laughs> I know, we're tired. Um, I think that's enough for us today, right? Um, I think we're just gonna do some grocery shopping, get more wine and just hang out in our Airbnb and just take it easy and edit this video for you guys, so enjoy it. Yeah, like Ksenia said, I think we're gonna sign off here soon um, and we're gonna put the video together. Uh, we'll go back to the apartment and just, uh, just kind of chillax for a bit. Um, we have all the time in the world. <laughs> we have six months to get around it. So I don't want to rush any one day and try to stuff a whole bunch of things in because we just don't have to. Castello, worth coming to for sure. I uh, just don't plan on it being a whole day or half day even. Uh, we got through this in two hours and we took our time. So, but really nice historical site, worth seeing.